Yeah. What, what, oh, what is? Yeah. Oh my god! Put put that away. What, what are you doing? I'm just fucking fucking amped, dude. That's why I ripped are you? my dick out. Yeah. Guys, welcome to Mega Man X. Um, <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite Mega Man games of all time. Question of the day: Are we nude? No, we're not. Uh, Who knows? This this episode of Beer Bros was kind of inspired by the Donkey Kong Country Two playthrough. <laughs> Um, we think we're probably just gonna have like a dope ass retro game slot. Yeah, uh, well, just ones that get, it's gonna be like games that I know really well, or games just where it's like super tight. Fucking kick ass, just kick ass video kick -ass games, games from a long time ago that you don't remember if you're a kid. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, with that said, this series is gonna be uh, the videos are gonna be shorter to make to give longevity to the series itself because yeah. I can probably beat this game. In about an hour and a half, yeah. so we're gonna try and limit it to... We're gonna take to... it slow, we're gonna like, look at the facts, we're gonna get everything. Yeah, we're gonna go full completionist in this bad boy. It's gonna be tight. So, uh... It's gonna be like a bite-sized beer bros, but get used to well, it. Well, we'll see, we'll see Get how. used to it, fuckers! Get used to it! Remember when the Game Grumps videos were ten minutes long? Remember that? <laughs> they still are. They still are! <laughs> what are you complaining about? Alex, tell us about the highway. Do you wanna know something right yes. now? Uh, yeah, this is the only intro stage in the game, uh, where uh, in the series uh, where the intro boss isn't like some big ass monster. Instead, it's just vile. That's true. Which is pretty cool, right? Yeah. Shoutouts to Eager Raptor and his incredible video on sequelitis of this game. Yeah, it's a a seminal work in the YouTube canon. He uh. When I did my first episode on Mega Man X, he like messaged me and was like, "Dude, your video is so good." He apparently he told me he had to go back and rewrite some of his points, and I was like, "No, you didn't. You're just making, you're saying that to make me feel better." So basically, you wrote it. No, God, no. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can never hold a candle to Aaron in that regard. No way. So you're welcome, Aaron, for no jumpstarting your whole career, shut man. Up. No, thank you, Aaron, for jumpstarting my career. That's what I'll say. <laughs> Too real. That's real. Without Aaron, I probably wouldn't be here. Oh! And that's not even from like a... He's so inspiring or like... He, just literally. He just like literally... He shared my Mega Man X video if and gave me an audience. If he hadn't created Game Grumps for us to copy, <laughs> we would never would have been here. Okay, hold on. Just to make sure the Beer Bros were around before the Game Grumps, but everyone forgets that. It doesn't matter. Nobody actually like... No one cares. ...says we copy... No, they say we copy them all the time. Check it out. What do they think? What do they... What is... What is it we're about We're different it? now. Guys. Guys. We're different. What do you mean? We're, di we're not the same. What? Two cars, what's up? I love this fucking game. Yo, it's like, I mean, everything about it, like, imagine you just played the original Mega Man games and then you were like, yo, I wonder what Mega Man's gonna be like on Super Nintendo and he's like three times as tall and like everything's like beautiful. And the mechanics are like perfect, and the sound effects are tight as hell, and there's fucking robots driving towards you in fucking convertibles for some reason that have spikes on them. Like, it's fucking Mad Max. Here we go. And fucking Boba Fett comes out of the plane, and then you're like, wait, that's not Boba Fett, that's impossible. And he's like, you're right, I'm I'm not Boba Fett. So this fight is impossible to win no matter what. Yeah, you get bodied. It is possible to die. Yeah, a little earlier. Yeah. You worthless piece of scrap metal. Did you think you could defeat me? Boba Fett? I am Boba Fett. Did you forget? Let's be real. That's fucking Boba Fett. Did you know that in the um, in the PSP version of this game, Maverick Hunter X, that you can just unlock Vile? Yeah. Isn't that tight? That'll be our bonus episode. We'll play we'll play Maverick Hunter X on PS TV. Oh yeah. I have one of those too. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. You know what sucks though? The HTCP on the PS TV is raunchy. Yeah. You shouldn't expect to defeat him. He's designed to be a war machine. War machine! <laughs> Remember, you war have machine. not released full power yet. Reach full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. Maybe become as powerful as I am. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Signal's Fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later. See X, you I know later. you can do it. Here we go. Mm. We're gonna start with Chill Penguin as always. Six, six, six. You do. I'm gonna go in my order. My order is not the traditional order. What? What do you mean? Chill, uh, Chill Penguin is the original. No, Chill Penguin's where you start. But like the next, like I have a weird order. I get made fun of a lot for my order of how I play this. 
Um, after this, you're supposed to go to Spark Mandrill. Okay. But uh, I don't go to Spark Mandrill. I, in fact, go to uh, uh, Storm Eagle. What? Yeah. I go to Storm Eagle. I fight him second. Because you know why? Why? Because there are, there are stages. Each stage has a reflective property that, have, that is affected by defeating other enemies. So if you defeat Storm Eagle, Storm Eagle's ship crash lands in to, Storm, uh, to Spark Mandrill stage. And so Stark, Spark Mandrill stage becomes easier to play. Oh, that's right. I like forgot that that was yeah. even a thing. Same thing with uh, Flame Mammoth. If you defeat Flame Mammoth, uh, or if you defeat Joe Penguin, Flame Mammoth's stage is covered in ice. That's right. Um, this is the only game I, I don't know if you noticed, but the 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 stage select it actually uses the same um, music like theme from the original Mega Man series. Really? No. Da 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 da. That's that's from this game. It no, it's a. Oh, that one. I think so. No. Bum 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 bum. What's that one from? It's from Mega Man. Which one? The first one? It's like from all the Mega Mans. No, it's different every time. The boss select? Yeah. I think it's all the same theme. Nope. It's according all to this, according to this trivia. So you've come, X. I gave you the ability to choose your own path in life, and I hoped the world would allow you to choose a peaceful one. It's weird that the fucking thing is in front of the text. But box. now it seems that you're destined to fight. Like, why is it in front of it? Because I know. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I've hidden capsules like this one. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers beyond anything this world has ever known. Step into the capsule and receive the acceleration system bo to boost your speed. Take it to the core. Good luck, X. I love doing this, charging up full blast, do, do, do. getting a power up, and then check it out. They're like, guess what, bitch? Shoot. This game has like Shoot. some more shit that you can collect. And now we did Mega Man X two here on the show, uh, probably in the first year of Bureau's existence. Yeah, long, was, long time ago. It was ago. a good time. It was. No, a good it was in the office though, right? Uh, no, that was in my house. We were what? still in my bedroom at that point. Why do I... F oh, you know what it was? Mega Man 7. Mega Man 7. Mega Man 7. We had some call me Thomas doing the art. That's Shout what? out to him. I hope he's doing well. Yeah, man. That guy was the greatest. That guy was a, that guy was a sweetie man. So some stuff about Chill Penguin. The mega... The weapon that you gain is really similar to the Freeze Man weapon that you get from beating Freeze Man in Mega Man 7. Speaking yeah. Of, speaking of Mega Man 7. Um, this game came before Mega Man 7, though, in terms of production. Yeah. He's the, considered the weakest boss in the game in general. He very much is, yes. Um, weirdly, in the ar in the artwork for him, his armor is black, but he's blue in the game. Okay. Um, and in in the PSP version, he's like purple. Yeah. He's like a weird purple. There are five robots that do ice sculptures in Mega Man. Yeah. Blizzard, Buffalo, Frostman, Coldman, Fenry, Luna, Frost, Edge. Frost, Walrus. Um, him and Blizzard, Buffalo are the only two. Chill Penguin reappears in Mega Man Extreme on the Game Boy. And in Mega Man X, he has two coolant tanks on his back. While in, Mega in Maverick Hunter X, he has only one. But I looks like he only has only one right now, so I don't know what that's about. Right? That doesn't look like there's two. This stage and this boss just like totally remind me of my childhood. Like, how many times did I play this fucking game? Ice Sculptures is, like, not a scary... Like, weapon. Like, hi, Mega Man! Wait a minute while I build myself out of ice! <laughs> or I'll freeze you into one. Yeah. Alex, do we have any translations for, like, different... There's not, like, a huge amount of different things. Like, he's called Rock Man. But no, that's really... I mean, like, Chill Penguin. He's called... Icy Penguigo. In Japanese? Yeah. Pretty crazy. Icy Penguigo. Alright, continuing my weird, bizarre order, we're gonna go here... To Storm Eagle. To Storm Eagle. Storm. Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle. Storm now, Eagle. that song... Oh, that's the song. That's the song from Mega Man. That's the song that... It, that's that, what it's yeah. referring to. Okay, that makes sense. 
It's the boss selected. Yeah. Not the, boss the, the, select. The, 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 that, yeah. of course, is. Yes. But that's not in the other Mega Man Xs. It is not, no. Yeah. They have their own versions. It's also in every single episode of Super Beer Bros. Yes. That is the Super Beer Bros theme. Yeah, get rocked. There get you go. Rocked. Some fucking trivia you didn't know about. In Japan, Storm Igurido. Igurid. Igurido. This song is just called Sky Stage. I mean, they're not wrong. Sutomo Igurido. It is a Sky Stage. Yeah. Fucking love that! Yeah, this game is so Dude, Maverick Hunter X was a tight port. It's all right. I liked it. It's kind of weird. It just sucks because all those games are on PSP, so like it's really shitty to control them. I don't know how like everybody is was chill with that. Like with even the PSP like, controls. Yeah, thinking back, like, to pl have you? Did you ever? You never played Monster Hunter on the PSP, did you? No, I did not. Jesus Christ! Like, oh my God! Like, what the fuck, man? Like, the first Monster Hunter was on PS2, I think, right? Yeah. And then they put on PSP, and you had to, like, because the stick and the arrow pad were on the same side of the controller. Oh, we're good. You had to, like, put your thumb on the on the, on the the little, like, thumbstick thing, the little, like, track disc, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. And then your f other, your pointer finger, like, on its side would be the thing that you used to press the arrows. Like this. Like, you'd hold it like a claw, like, like, and you'd have, like, both here. I don't think you can... Oh my god! You, you can, can just do that? Yeah, of course you can. Did you not know that? I thought you needed the fire. No. This capsule contains an enhancement for your helmet, which will allow you to break some ceilings with a headbutt. Look at that suspicious looking ceiling, X. I bet you can break it. Dude, I just got eaten alive by bugs the other day. Wow. Yeah, it sucks, dude. Felt like that dude in the mummy. <laughs> I was like, come on, I'm just gonna run into a wall already. What is that supposed to be? What do you think those green and purple things are supposed to be? Like data bars? Like fiber bars? Maybe? Data bars? Yeah, like internet or data, computer data? Yeah, I guess. It, they, they look like Tinker Toys. Did you ever play with Tinker Toys when you were a kid? No. Do you know what they are? No. They're like little sticks and like little like wooden like sort of like hub pieces. So he here's a fun thing, Alex. So this is like this boss door, right? Sure. You can walk through that or you can do the, the, the tight way. Sick. Hell yeah. <laughs> this boss is pretty beatable. Very, very beatable. Yeah. He's like one of the air ones. It was kind of, this is kind of a weird one. Like, you know, playing this stage, you're like, oh, wow, this really is not Mega Man. Like, it's not like on one room, you know, like how the Mega Man bosses are. Yeah. He like disappears from the screen for like large portions of the fight. It's crazy. Um, he's known as the Prince of the Skies. Storm Eagle. That's like his thing. Mm hmm. Uh, he weighs almost 300 pounds. He's the leader of the Seventh Air Squadron. Uh, he's cool and calm all the time. He's really hard to talk to, but he's like really popular with his men. And uh, he just had to join Sigma because Sigma was too strong. Pretty crazy. Also, uh, this level is known as Sky Stage, Airport Stage, and also New Type Airport. Which is a really bad name. New type airport? That's from the Maverick Hunter like X. Like a new type of airport? Like new type. Like new dash type airport. I don't know. New airport. Yeah. New SSR. Yeah. That's it. All right. Da -da. So that's two stages that's down. That's the TOVG chime. Yeah. There it is. Dun 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 Dude, this is a great idea for a series. Like, we're just gonna continually just Wreck destroy old games. Love yeah. that. That's what we do. See you guys Love next that. time. Bye.